Agriculture in the United States is a more than $360 billion annual business, but it's in trouble. American farmers are getting older. Their average age is just over 58, and farming in general faces a major labor shortage. Errol Barnett met with some growers to see how they are trying to find a solution with the help of technology from Silicon Valley. He's, uh, he's at Hard Rock, Hard Rock Hill Orchard in Mount Airy, Maryland. Errol, good morning. Good morning. Look, we know that farming is tough work. You've got to get up before dawn. And to take care of cows like these, you have to bring them through this milking machine twice a day. Now, generally speaking, though, this is just not the type of work people want to do anymore. It is becoming more difficult to find all sorts of agricultural labor. Now, farmers I met with recently told me that the key to fix that is artificial intelligence. Look at that bad boy. Yeah, there. Try it. It should be sweet. For just about a hundred years, wow. Gary Wisnotsky's family has been running the Wish Fruit Farm business. I think my grandfather, if he was alive, would be just totally mesmerized by what the future has turned into. In order to keep his crop healthy, he needs 600 people to harvest 600 acres every two to three days. But finding that amount of labor is becoming unsustainable. We've seen a shrinking labor force and an aging labor force. We actually had fields we were abandoning early in the season, which is a really painful thing for a grower to do. In an effort to avoid losing $20,000 per acre on abandoned fields, Gary partnered with a team of engineers who are working to fully automate the process. We've separated all of the things that a picker's doing into various pieces of the robot. Paul Bissett is the chief operating officer of the company behind it all. We're collecting 50 to 100 images of plant, and all of those images are fed into our AI system in order to tell us, okay, this is a good berry, this is one we want to go after. So you're telling me in real time, this machine is looking at the plant, thinking what to do next based on the imaging, and then executing that action. Exactly. So is this as fast as a human right now? This machine, commercialized, will replace the 30 people that you saw in the field earlier today with Gary. 